God, make us an instrument of your peace. Make us your messenger, Lord, please. God, help us to morning to one and all viewing me on this spectacular day. I am Varsha Dhanakuran of class 12A and I'm going to be talking about the National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated in India on 28 February each year. On this day, we show our dignity and respect to the famous Indian physicist to mark his discovery of the Raman effect. C.V. Raman was born on 7th November 1888 at Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. Raman was the first person to research such an invention in India. He worked from 1907 to 1933 in Kolkata at the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science, researching so many topics in physics of which Raman effect became his great success. His discovery marked a notable achievement in Indian history. In 1986, the National Council for Science and Technology Communication asked the Government of India to designate February 28 as National Science Day. Every year, the National Science Day focuses on a particular theme. Last year, the theme was Women in Science. This year, the theme is Future of STI, Impacts, Skills and Work. The main objectives for celebrating this National Science Day is to bring awareness to people about the importance of scientific applications in their daily life. It allows scientists and experts to discuss issues and new technologies trending in the field. The celebration is also aimed at a younger generation to display their activities, efforts and achievements in the field of science for human welfare. As students, it is our responsibility to honor the great man and his invention by contributing greatly to the field of science through innovation. Thank you.
Hello everybody. Today I'm going to speak a few words on National Science Day, why it is celebrated and what is the importance of science in our daily life. National Science Day is celebrated every year on 28th February in India to mark the discovery of this Raman effect by the Indian physicist C. V. Raman who was born on November 7th, 1888 at Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. So what is Raman effect? Raman effect is the scattering of light particles by the molecules of a medium which occurs due to the change in wavelength of light as it enters the medium. On this day, various activities like debates, speeches, science exhibitions, quiz competitions are held in schools, colleges, educational institutions across the country. This day is actually celebrated to create awareness about how important science is in our daily life and also to promote the use of science and technology. Every year, this day is celebrated with a theme. The theme for this year, 2021, is the future of STI, Impact on Education, Skills and Work, where STI stands for Science, Technology and Innovation. This century has witnessed a remarkable pace of development in science, both in natural science and in human science as well. As of now, as, of the pandem as it is the pandemic time, I would like to put a special emphasis on COVID and how science has actually helped us during this pandemic. We now live in an era where we do not have to believe in superstitions and assumptions to know what is actually occurring. With, when the first COVID case was reported, the scientists were actually able to find what the microscopic virus which was causing the pandemic was, which was causing the infection actually was. And back when there was just 100 cases reported, the scientists were able to find out the entire genome of the virus which has been, the, which has been one of the most significant developments in the past 15 years in science. And back, by the time it was January, we were aware, we were, we knew about what the best measures and practices to prevent the spread of this virus was and how to reduce hospitalization and deaths all over the world. So this pandemic has put science front and center. The last global scourge that took place was of the influenza epidemic in 1918, which is estimated to kill about, kill about 50 million people of the world. At that time, people went with the blind belief that masking was the only way to reduce the transmission. But now, this is not the case. Science provides us the concrete answers. Various tests have been done to demonstrate how wearing masks, washing hands, social distancing and reducing the size of the crowd can limit the cause and the spread of the infections. The WHO earlier had developed a PCR test to detect the virus which has been one of the most important change that has uh, changed the course of the pandemic all over the world. By this, different countries were able to develop the diagnostic tests. Now, as of February 2021, 66 vaccines are in clinical research, out of which 10 were actually authorized by at least one national pub, uh, regulatory authority for the public use. India has authorized the use of two vaccines, Covishield and Covaxin, to be distributed. Scientific knowledge can improve the quality of life at different levels, be it our daily working routine or our global issues. Thank you. Namaskar. Aaj Rashtriya Vigyan Divas ke absar par main aap sabhi ke saamne ek swarachut kavita prastut karne ja raha hu. Aasha karta hu ki aap sabhi ko yeh kavita pasand aaye. आसान हुआ हर काम अपना जब से मानव ने विज्ञान बनाया मानव की बुद्धि से उपजा हर रहस्यों से पर्दा उठाया झटपट करना हो काम तुम्हें जब विज्ञान का प्रयोग करो तुम तब बटन दबाते ही हो जाते सारे काम विज्ञान ही तो है जो देता बहुत आराम विज्ञान से ही विद्युत उपजा रात को भी दिन बनाया पल भर में कर लो रोशनी विज्ञान ने ही प्रकाश दिखाया मोटर गाड़ी में घूमे दुनिया विज्ञान ने सब आसान बनाया धरती क्या अंबर पर भी वायुयान से सैर कराया बूढ़ों और लाचारों के लिए कर दिया रोबोट का निर्माण रोबोट निदन सेवा करते यही है विज्ञान के चमत्कार हर चीजों के दो पहलू होते विज्ञान भी इससे नहीं अछूता एटम बम जैसी चीजें होती विनाश इनसे बहुत होता प्रयोग पर इसके निर्भर करता सदुपयोग करो या दुरुपयोग बड़ों से शिक्षा लेके करना नए नए उपयोग प्रयोग देश का नाम करो जग में करके भारतीय वैज्ञानिकों को याद 
विज्ञान दिवस के अवसर पर श्रद्धांजलि दो उन्हें फिराज श्रद्धांजलि दो उन्हें फिराज धन्यवाद Greetings to all. I am Ashaba Matthews of class 8D and I'm here to present before you a speech on the significance of National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated all over India to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect based on the experiments of the scattering of lights by the great indian physicist sir chandrashekar venkata raman on february 28 1928 for his remarkable feat sir c v raman was awarded the nobel prize in physics in 1930 sir c v raman was also the winner of the bharat ratna and the lenin peace prize This day is recognized as a path-breaking day in the history of Indian science. The Raman effect invention was of great value since it gave further proof to the quantum nature of light. To commemorate this day, the Indian government designated this day as National Science Day on persuasion by the National Council of science and technology communication in 1986 and the first ever national science day was celebrated in the year 1987 on this occasion president ramnath kovin presented several awards on science and technology communication as well as for women scientists a total of 21 awards every year a theme gets released by the department of science to provoke our mindset this year's theme is the future of development and information the objective of celebrating this day is to spread the message of importance of science and its application in the life of people this creates awareness amongst the people about science and its daily application in our day to day life it also encourages people and popularizes science and technology schools and colleges across india celebrate national science day by holding several competitions and events like poster makings debates exhibitions science projects and so on i would like to conclude my words by remembering an inspiring quote by our former president dr apj abdul kalam science is a gift to humanity we should not distort it thank you water bodies and stop polluting them my project water cleaning boat is a potential solution that addresses this issue it can run on water and uh, pick up the floating waste in front of it working principle so the boat has two basic working principles the first is for the boat to move forward and the second is for it to pick up the waste so i've used two propellers here to move the boat forward uh, as the here are the two propellers as the uh, propellers keep rotating it they will push the water back and hence the boat will move forward and here is the conveyor belt 
which will uh, rotate and pick up the waste in front of it. So there are four basic parts for the board. The first is the base here. Uh, this is the base. I've used a uh, thermocol sheet to make the base and I've used this material specifically because it's very light and has a very low density which will make it easier to float in water. And the second is the propeller system. Uh, this is a propeller system. It's made with a motor, two straws here and two propellers. So as the motor rotates, the propellers will start rotating and push the water backward. So the boat will move forward. And Next is the conveyor system. This is the conveyor system, the front of the boat. It's made with a motor here and a bigger pulley which will reduce the speed of the motor. And there are four metal shafts here which act as a base for the conveyor. And there are two wooden sticks on which the conveyor belt can rotate. And I've also used two bottle caps on the wooden stick to increase the friction between the belt and the wooden stick. Uh, you can see the bottle caps here. So as the pulley rotates, the wooden stick will rotate and as a result, the belt will also start rotating. Next is the remote controller. I've taken this remote controller and the two motors from a toy car, an old toy car. And the motor, the remote helps in controlling the two motors and to move the boat forward and backward and also control the motion of the conveyor belt. So the boat, the propellers keep, can rotate forward and backward and the conveyor belt can rotate and pick up the waste in front of it. And I also attached the two parts together and I've kept some thermocol sheet as walls for the boat so that it say, the motors are safe from water. I've also made an artificial water pond with some debris on which the boat can work and pick up the waste. These are the materials that I've used to make my project and these are the tools I've used. Now let's watch a small demo of how the boat works. This is the waste collected by the boat. Okay. Conclusion. A project like this can go a long way in cleaning our ecosystem. It can also be powered with solar energy to make it more eco-friendly and reduce its carbon footprint. And this boat, made on a larger scale, can be very effective in cleaning our rivers and lakes. Thank you. Respected teachers and my dear friends, Today, I am going to show you the optic inversion based on my science project. This happens due to the bending of light in water. That's why we see the opposite image.
everyone i am arathi surendran of class 10 a today i am going to show you an acid base reaction with indicator indicators are substances which are used to check whether the given solution is acidic or basic there are two types of indicators natural indicators and artificial indicators There are many types of natural indicators found. One of the best natural indicators is red cabbage extract. Red cabbage extract is an excellent acid base indicator or pH indicator. Today we will see how does it work in the presence of acids and bases. Let's start the experiment. I have made an extract of cabbage by blending cabbage leaves and water in a mixer. I have taken vinegar, lime juice, egg white, bleach, baking soda solution and tamarind juice in 6 glasses. Now I am going to add red cabbage extract into these glasses one by one. I have poured the extract into vinegar. It has become pinkish red in color. Next, I am going to add in lime juice. It has become dark pink in color. I am going to add in egg white. If you observe carefully, you can see that it has become blue color at the top. In bleach it has become dark blue in color I am going to add in baking soda solution it has become dark green in color and in tamarind juice if you observe carefully you can see that it has become dark red at the top If the color of the solution changes to green that indicates the solution is having a pH of 10 to 12 that is a strong base If the color of the solution changes to blue that indicates the solution is having a pH of 8 to 10 that is a weak base and if the color of the solution changes to reddish pink that indicates the solution is having a ph of 2 to 4 and is a strong acid if the color of the solution changes to light red then it is a weak acid now i am arranging in the order of their ph value this is how we can use cabbage as a ph acid base indicator the one which is green in color and the other two blue these three are bases the one which is dark pink in color and the dark red one and the red one are acids these three are acids thank you everyone for watching my video this is me arathi My name is Vastik. I am student of class 7D. Today I am going to do an activity based on density of water. For this experiment, we need two glass of water, common salt, and two lemon. Let's start the experiment. Let's put um, the lemon in one of the glasses. Let's see the reaction. It sinks in the water. Now let's add salt to the other glass. And mix it well. Now let's put the lemon and let's see the reaction. It floats in the water. 
because the density of the water is higher than the density of the lemon so it floats in the water Hi my dear respected teachers, parents and my dear friends I am Sandosh Prakash and I am studying in class 30 in Indian school Murada Today I am going to show you a closed electric circuit experiments The things which are needed are a battery in a cell holder, surplus cells is needed, then two clips, a bulb in a bulb holder, a DC motor connected to a fan, and a switch. Let's get started. First, we will connect. The negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the switch. This black color indicates the negative terminal and this red color indicates the positive terminal. So we will connect the negative switch terminal of the switch to the negative terminal of the battery. Connected. Now we will connect the positive terminal of the switch to the bulb ok connected now we will connect the positive terminal of the battery here Now I want it. Okay, when I on the switch, this light glows because the switch allows the current to pass through this bulb and this power supply this battery is a DC power supply so the circuit is complete now I am going to connect the same switch and the same DC battery to this DC motor with its fan Now after connecting let's on the switch. As you can see the DC motor runs because of the switch. It allows the current to pass through this DC motor and this also produces this DC battery produces the energy. So once again the circuit is complete. I hope you understand what was learned in this video. You can also try this experiment at your home. Thank you. Bye bye.
powder, soap powder and lemon water. Add some turmeric powder into the water and mix it well. powder into the glass. Yellow color changed into red color. Basis turns red color with the turmeric indicator. Now add some lemon water into the solution. Red color changes into yellow color, that means all color. From this experiment, we can understand that turmeric is a good indicator from bay acids and bases. Thank you. Have a nice day.
teacher, principal, teachers, and my dear friends. One invention of science changed the world forever. Dear friends, we all know that science has given us a lot of things and technologies. Science having a major influence on our daily life. India has an uh, important role for contributing to the science world from ancient times. National Science Day is celebrated in India every year on 28th of February. It was on the same day in 1928. That Sir C.V. Raman made, made to the world this greatest discovery on the scattering of lights described as Raman's effect. He was awarded and honored in the year 1930 with the Nobel Prize in Physics, becoming the first Asian to receive it. The government of India honored him with the highest civilian award with the Bharat Ratna in 1954. The purpose of the day is to widely spread a message about significance of the scientific application in the daily life of people. Every year, the National Day focuses on the particular theme. The theme of National Science Day 2021 is Future of STI Impact on Education, Skill and Work. Thank you and have a nice day.